Like many of you, I'm a big fan of yogurt drink, as it contains probiotics, also called good bacteria. But have you ever wondered as to why most of the probiotic products like Yakult or Vitagen are marketed in a liquid form? Have you also noticed that these products have a relatively short shelf life? Well, these are all due to the instability of probiotics against the high temperature and low pH. Ladies and gentlemen, probiotic is the unique food ingredients that provide substantial beneficial effect like cholesterol lowering effect, anti-cancer effect, and prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Our lab have isolated several unique strains of good bacteria from a local fermented food such as budu, tempeh, and tapai. Unfortunately, like all other probiotics, they are vulnerable to acidic environment and high temperature. Essentially, they must be kept alive in substantial numbers from the manufacturing stage through to the delivery to the gut. In fact, a minimal intake of 10 million probiotic cells in a manufactured product is required for their functional benefits. So, what is the point of having beneficial effect if they cannot survive during industrial processing and through our stomach? So my PhD project addressed the issue on probiotic instability through micro-encapsulation, a technology that can enhance probiotic protection and targeted delivery. For this purpose, a unique blend of a natural polymers, namely alginate, vegetable-based protein, and tytosan, were used to construct a shield that encapsulates the probiotics. The shielded probiotic was subjected to treatments that mimics the condition of the guts. Interestingly, the result often showed a minimal cell loss at the stomach condition and maximal cell release at the target site, which is the intestine. Then, the subsequent exposure of the shielded probiotics to a boiling temperature of up to 100 degrees Celsius have resulted in an impressive viable count of more than 100 million bacteria. So this result strongly suggested the promising potential of my developed microcapsule as the protective microtransport for probiotics. This will in turn revolutionize the application of good bacteria that can be safely incorporated into new functional food. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the very near future, you and I can enjoy probiotic and its beneficial effect in the form of cereal, biscuit, chocolate, and even in the cup of a hot coffee. Thank you.